Uh, let's get started with our candle uh, library. Um, what you're looking at on your screen uh, is my TZ2000 set up very simply with to the left a watch list. This is the high cap 1000. Uh, and you can see it's got some simple columns in it. We're going to be using this space to um, work with our candle patterns. And then you see my chart is set up with candlesticks. I'm going to start by simply adding a column to our watch list, which will contain a check mark showing us stocks, excuse me, showing us charts that have the pattern we're looking for. And if you'll go over to the end of my price chart, the pattern we're going to be looking for is similar to this one that you see as the last bar on my chart. This is a doji candle. Um, and we're going to look for all the stocks in our list that show a doji pa uh, prep pattern on the last bar, which is, of course, today's trading. So here we go. Let's get started. We're going to click the plus sign, which is the add column button. Uh, in the column set that we have. And you'll notice there is a, a, an option here to choose a true false column. This would be a column that has some sort of condition in it to which the answer is either true or false. Either yes, it meets the condition or no, it does not. Uh, we're gonna click on that to open the library. All I'm gonna do is click on where it says Doji and you can see that it now adds a column to my watch list, the Doji column. We have one stock that has a check mark in it right now. We haven't sorted by this, so we can see that's visible. And if I scroll over to the end of my chart, notice that there is that Doji or what we might call a near Doji because there is a little bit of wiggle room in a Doji. And just for your information, Many of you would know this, but a doji is a simple pattern where the open price and the close price are the same. That's called a true doji or are very, very close like this one. That's a near doji, but it also has some trading that's happened on either side. So that's why you get the high and the low represented by that long uh, candle wick, we like to call them, or shadow. Um, and so you can see that that one is there uh, as a, a uh, doji pattern and that's why you have the check mark because i've put this column in i can sort by the column all i do is click on where it says doji in that column header and then you see all my check marks from my whole list of a thousand stocks come to the top of my list and so now i can hit the space bar and as I do, the last bar on each chart has that doji or near doji um, pattern uh, as the final candle on the chart. So every one of these that has this check mark shows the doji pattern. If I scroll down, you'll see the check marks end. Um, and so there are 23 stocks in this list today that have that doji uh, pattern. So that's the simple way of finding what stocks have a doji pattern today or any of the other candle patterns in the library. Now, let's do some fun stuff with this. Um, let's, let's take that pattern and color our price bars so that every time the stock has printed that doji pattern, it would be a different color than the rest of my green bars. And it's really easy in version 23. I'm going to click on the header that says doji in my column, and I'm going to click and just drag it over to the price. And you see where the name uh, of the symbol is and where it says daily at the top of the price chart. And I'm going to drop it on there. And when I do, it opens my edit color bar window. So this is setting up a color condition. Uh, and it's the it's going to color the bars on the basis of this doji pattern that we have uh, written into our formula. So now if I click OK, watch what happens on my chart. You'll see that there is different colors 
for the bar for the candles that represent that doji pattern so every candle on the history of my chart however much history i have up to 1500 bars in any time frame where the doji was you're going to see the colors i'll just space bar through a few you see that kind of whitish blue color there anytime there is a doji pattern and again it goes all the way back here you can see way back here uh, so anytime in the 1500 bars or whatever the history of that particular stock is anytime there was a doji pattern you now see it light, light up as it were with the different color uh, so that's called color bars and you could do color bars on the base of any condition but we've done it on the basis of our candle condition by simply clicking on the header dragging it onto the price chart right click on the column header and choose show past columns when i do this it's going to show me yes the doji on the current bar that's what we've been looking for but it'll also show me the stocks in my list that had that doji candle yesterday and it'll show it the day before and i can sort by any of these so if i sort by the current bar all my check marks are for today if i sort by december 12th these are the stocks that had the doji candle yesterday again this is a platinum feature but it also keeps my check marks for today and adds my checks marks for the 11th go back to the top sort by the 11th now i've got the stocks that had the doji candle two days ago this first one happened to have one two days ago and yesterday uh, if i go to the next one you'll see that had a doji candle two days ago and then on the current bar so you get the double check marks there the rest of these are going to have that candle two bars ago so as a platinum feature and by the way you can add more to these columns i've only got two showing but you can do more than that you could show three or four candle or four days um and, and you can see it just expands those columns and keeps adding days so as a platinum feature it's very easy to find these candle patterns on the current bar or the previous bar or two or three or four bars ago whatever you would choose the the nice thing about having them colored different is i'm really able to see that very clearly on my chart as well uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn those past columns off. This all I have to do to turn them on and off is click there. Again, the past columns are a feature of the platinum level. And so is this that I'm going to show you. Uh, this, Remember, I'm just showing you one pattern right now and multiple ways you can use that pattern. Remember, we've built in a whole bunch of these patterns, which I've sh I'll show you again in that library where we started and you can do all of these things that i'm doing with any of those those patterns i'm going to click on the header in our column again and i'm going to drag it this time not to color the chart but i'm going to drag it and you'll see an orange bar at the bottom that appears because what i'm going to do now is create a market indicator out of this doji pattern so i drag it down release it again platinum feature and you can see this market indicator is created with these white lines each of those lines represent the percentage of the high cap 1000 because that's what the indicator is based on high cap 1000 the percentage of that 1000 stocks on any given day over the entire 1500 bar history the percentage of the high cap 1000 stocks that showed that doji pattern on any given day i'm going to right click on our doji column again and i'm going to filter by that column so what it's going to do is instead of putting check marks on just the stocks out of the 1000 that show the pattern it's going to filter out all the stocks that don't show this pattern on the most recent bar so i click filter this column only and notice how my watch list has gotten real short there's only 23 items or 20 items in it because 
that's all the stocks that have that pattern today. So I'm now filtering by that pattern, not just showing the stocks that have that pattern, but actually filtering out all the stocks that don't have the doji pattern on the most recent bar. And it, when I do that, I'm able to choose in my watch list menu the ability to select a date on the chart and actually run the scan for the doji and find the stocks that actually make up that percentage that you see down here with the white lines. So let's click on it and I'll show you how it works. See on my price chart, I get this little filter icon. I can drag it back to any date and it will find for me in this case right here uh eight percent better than eight percent of the um watch list showed that pattern and that's 81 stocks that had that doji that day and because they've got it colored it actually colors the candle on that date where i ran that scan so there were 87, 81 stocks that day. That's 8.5% or so of the watch list. And then I can click and drag that to any date where I see something interesting, like a long bar. Here we had uh, 95 or 9.25% of the stocks, 92 stocks that met that condition. Another way in Platinum that I can apply this which is similar, but it gives me more of a synopsis, is by creating what we call a market gauge. So I'm going to click on that doji again. I'm going to drag it this time up because you notice when I clicked, I got these options of things that I can do with this doji pattern that I'm working with up here at the top. I'm going to choose new market gauge. It creates a market gauge for me. And that market gauge shows me that today in the uh, high cap 1000, there were 20 stocks that showed and uh, printed that doji pattern that we're looking for. 20 today out of 1000. And notice the colors that surround that little circle show us um, a, a down here, we're really low in the red. That means this is a really low number of doji stocks compared to what is normal over these last 1,500 bars. Normal would be right up here where the green and red come together. If we had a super high number of these doji patterns on any given day, you'd see that hap happen over here. The pointer would be over here in the green, and the number might be up to 90 or 100, something like that. So this shows me how many today, and then is that low or is it high compared to what is normal for this pattern on an average for the last 1,500 bars? That's a market gauge. Just giving me, again, an idea. How does today's returns compare to what we normally have out of this list of 1,000 stocks? I'm going to go ahead and dock this up and just leave it in our um, in our layout uh, for the rest of the evening. Just resize in my windows here a little bit. And now that market gauge, along with the market indicator, are part of uh, our layout. Now, let me show you how to take the pre-built uh, candle pattern and use it in a very, very simple scan. So that you're, what you're doing then is combining this doji condition with other conditions uh, in order to create a scan to find stocks that meet multiple conditions. So we're going to start by going up to our easy scan button, click on it, and we're going to start with blank condition. This brings us a blank easy scan editing window that we can add things to. And I'm going to build a quick scan for you. First, I'm going to click Add Condition. And what I want to do is I want to create a condition that will, will show a price pullback toward the end of my chart. Because I want to find that doji pattern that's happening on the end of my chart. I want to find that at kind of a pullback level or a, a, a lower level. So I'm going to choose to choose condition. So 
So again, I click add condition, choose condition. I'm going to type part of the word price, and I'm going to choose price as what I want to build my condition on. And it, now I've got price history here in my uh, edit window. I'm going to click over to my condition drop down, and I'm going to choose new low. This is a price new low, and I'm going to set that at 10 bars. So what I'm looking for is price hitting a new 10 bar low. And also, at the end of that 10 bar low, we're going to see our doji pattern. So I'm adding my doji from the pre-built library, the one that we've created for you, the built-in candle pattern. I'm adding it to the scan. See that? It's a second condition. So we have price history at a new low. And by the way, this is just one of many ways you could, you could kind of define a, a pullback. You could do an oversold stochastic. You could do price below a moving average, maybe a short-term moving average, lots of different ways. I'm just using a new 10 bar low as an example. We're adding our condition of doji. Then I'm going to add a couple of other things real quickly. I'm using the same methodology there. Um, I want the price to be greater than at least $3. So I don't want the really super cheap stock. And I also want average volume. So I'm choosing uh, volume 90 days. I want it to be greater than, say, 150,000 shares. You could use any number you want. Just trying to get rid of the super low price, super low volume stocks. And that's the scan. Just four simple conditions, all of which are we're using pre-built material and just tweaking it to what we want. Price history, it's a new 10 bar low. The doji pattern forms and is true. That'll be on the last bar of the of the chart. The price history. Uh, is greater than three bucks, and the average volume is at least 150,000 shares. And that's, that's all there is to it. This is how I've wrapped our doji pattern, this is our built-in doji pattern, into a group of conditions using it in a scan. Now I'm gonna copy that to a new filtered watch list. So we're gonna be filtering on the basis of those four conditions we just combined together to create the scan. Let's see what we find. Not very many in the high cap 1000, uh, but so I'm going to go ahead and grab all U.S. common stocks to give us a few more to look at. But in all of these stocks, uh, you're going to see the pattern at the end, new 10 bar low. We're going to see our uh, doji pattern. Uh, and that's a really good example of what I'd be looking for, because the theory is in a pullback, if you get that doji, that kind of means that there's been a change in the the the, uh, the traders thinking um, they drove the the price down drove it right back up to the top that's considered a kind of a normal kind of reversal pattern um, in, in in candle theory and so you can see these are these are dojis that are happening at a pullback or a low of some sort or another just so you know, I can click the add column button. I can go and find those candle patterns as I showed you at the beginning. And you can add more than one of these to a column set like this. So let's go ahead and throw in a morning star pattern in there. That becomes a column. I can sort by that. And now the stocks that are showing the morning star pattern uh, today. Uh, are at the end of uh, at the end of the chart are at the top of my list. So I just show you that to show you can put multiple ones of these uh, candle patterns at the in, as columns like this and sort them on the fly uh, to find stocks. You can also apply them in any time frame. So you could be looking for these candle patterns on a weekly chart. Or you could look at these candle patterns on a 65 minute chart or a 10 minute chart. All of that's possible uh, in this. But in the case of the doji itself, we've got a parameter that's uh, a max of five. And the description says that that's the percentage of the candle. The candle is the entire candle, including the shadows and the body. So and from the high to the low. From the high all the way down to the low is, is the size of the candle. 
And what this parameter is saying is that the body is going to be a max of 5% of that candle. Uh, one of the interesting things that we could do is, um, this is this is checking for a near doji, right? Mm -hmm. When we've arbitrarily chosen 5% because it's, it's fairly small. If that right. wasn't giving you enough results, you could say change that to 10 or 15% or something like that. And while that's starting to get, you know, to be bigger than what, you know, people might consider to be a doji, it's going right. to kind of give you more results. Gotcha. Um, if you so were to change that down. A, the body would be a little bigger if you do that. Yeah, it could be bigger. Could be could be 5%, could be zero, but it could go all the way up to 10%. Gotcha. If okay. we drop that down to zero, it'll give you an actual true jo doji. It will uh -huh. only return symbols where there's basically no body. The open and the close are exactly the same. And that's, you know, kind of the strict definition of a doji. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that we've done in kind of dis defining most of these candle stick patterns is that we've been, um, we've, we've allowed a lot of slack in, in yeah. some of these so that you're going to get results and you, you're usually, or maybe going to have to like, you know, tighten them maybe a little to kind of like get, but we didn't want to like have uh, pattern definitions that just, you like bring them up and there's nothing there. So, right, right, right. Um, so we've, we've started with kind of loose definitions and um, allowed you to like, you can obviously loosen them up further, but um, tightening them up, for example, in this case of a doji, if you want a two do true doji, you're going to have to change that to zero. All right. Um, um, let's do something. Let's click OK and let's show them the difference. Now that we've changed that parameter to zero, we mm -hmm. should only have true do dojis. Right. And so there's only three here. But if you look, I'm going to zoom in. The open and the close are the same. So you can see how it really narrowed down your, your list. But that is a true doji. The open and the low price uh, are the same. And you did that by changing that one parameter from 5% to zero. One thing we may want to mention at this, we've we've gone in and we've made a change. We changed that from a max of five to a max of zero, right? Mm -hmm. um, we've got the candle library in there as kind of a read-only sort of thing, right? right? So that if you were to go and change that and you were to, to save it, um, you know, by hitting the save button or um, hitting save, what that will allow you to do is to make a copy of the doji that's going to have your parameters. So you um, could call it my doji. My or doji or, or true doji want. or whatever you want yeah, to call yeah. it. So that way you can kind of play with these without mm -hmm. any fear of kind of messing things up. All the originals will still be there for you to kind of go back awesome. to and use as a basis for anything that you want to do. Um, All right. That's excellent. We're going to have to bounce because we got to get to our second webinar here in a few minutes. But you simply go into your library and type the word candle and you'll see all the patterns that we've put in for you that now can be used for sorting, for scanning, for market indicators. If you have the platinum version uh, for coloring your price bars, uh, all of that's there. And these candle patterns are now pre-built for you, built into TC2000. I hope you've been able to, to kind of pick up some ways to use them. Thanks for joining us. We hope it's been helpful, and we'll see you again soon on another webinar. Take good care.